Hey guys, what's happening? So, I thought I'd show you some of the uh, Quad Z uh, motor bracket improvements. I know a lot of guys, people have commented about this Quad Z motor setup here. Um, so, one of the issues I was having is over time this was start getting flexible. See that flexing right there? Um, so originally this system was a was a dual uh, dual Z, and I used a Z tilt to get it aligned like this, and then I quit, switched over to the quad quad mount with the ball socket, which has really been super reliable. It's kind of surprising too, you know. I mean, like crazy reliable. Like I can get into quad Z, you know, level the bed very fast, and it's the flattest I've ever actually had a bed. So, and uh, yeah, I mean I've printed, I mean probably at least three or four hundred prints. Yeah, you know, with this quad Z setup, so. But what I noticed is that over some time, I started getting these like layer of separation here, you know, and it, and I think it was related to. I feel like it's related to the, this flexing motor, you know. Um, so I just started noticing a little layer separation here and there, you know. I mean, so they could, this could also be extruder too, but I mean, I'm thinking a Z setup, but just because I can see the flexing, plus I get sunlight in this direction, so like in the afternoon, like this thing won't be be hit, uh, and the sunlight will be on this side. So, yeah, so I'm got, I got rid of this little part here, the, the mount for the rail, and I decided to just incorporate all one, all system for the mount to the rail, holding the motor. So I just have my motherboard box on there just to keep it up. So while I'm replacing the motor mounts. But this will give me way more strength and rigidity in here, because now it's part of the actual frame. It's bolted down here in two spots. So one, two, bolted here. One, two, and another one down here. So that also keeps the, the this this thing line, the linear rail line. So, you know, to make sure I got the, the correct alignment, I just use a, a tri square. I don't know that. if I've ever done a close look up on this uh, quad Z setup so you can see how it works. But um, yeah, so there's actually like a like a ten millimeter belt pulling it here, and I can it's an adjuster, so I can adjust the tension here. So it's like a little screw that comes down. Like an inside the bracket, there's a little pulley mount that goes up and down. You can adjust the tension. Um, you know, like I said, I could do like a belt reduction, but I never had a problem with this setup. And I'll show you what I like about it. Like after every single print, I just lower the bed to the bottom. It kind of zeroes itself out. So one of the issues with, um, you know, like the quad bedded setup, you know, if, it, if it's too out of, um, if it's too uh, out of like, uh, tilt or I guess or whatever like out of sync um it's gonna mess up the probing you know what I mean like the probe won't build like even with the I even had the same issue with the Vorons the 2.4s when I could do the conversions to clipper on a customer's printer like if the bed is too out of tilt it's not gonna it's gonna hit something else before it hits the probe yeah you know, it's gonna hit the head or something like that so if it's too out of tilt it's almost like you have to push it all the way to the bottom to kind of resync it but I'll show you that if you keep tension on the ball socket you basically just See this right here comes down. Then you can mess with the tension here. So you want to make it all against the thing. You can't do this one hand, but um, then you put the tension against the ball socket. All right, I think these things look pretty good. Yeah, super stout. I could probably even make it more stout, I guess. Um, but all right, cool. So, um, so what I was saying earlier is that as long as you between prints, you put this all at the very bottom. That can usually get me uh, within about three to four passes. So the script is a modified uh, Veron script. Um, I mean the quad bed, quad gantry leveling. So right now I'm point, I'm at 0 0.05. Um, I could definitely go. I've gone lower to 0 0.01, but the more the tighter the tolerance, the more passes I have to do. So I've actually had to go like 10, 12 passes before to get 0 0.01. So with 0 0.05, I can usually get in three to four passes. And 0 0.05, that's that's pretty accurate. So um, plus, I mean, most of the layer heights I'm doing are 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. So um, all right, let me show you that real fast. All right, move, home, home all. So if you're not familiar with this or seeing this printer, there's a little micro probe down there. And it's got a quad gantry level setup. Quad gantry level. So I'm hoping to see an improvement, um, just because I think some of that flexing kind of made it deviate a little bit more. So we'll see if this makes any difference. So before I was able to go three or four passes, let's try that.
Eh, two passes. So yeah, I mean, definitely an improvement. So um, let's try that again. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to disable the motors. Okay, bring this all the way down as fast as I can get it. Okay, and then we'll do a hum again. Hum all. I'll come back, we'll do another test. All right, so we're hummed again. Let's do a quad gantry level. Just want to verify to see how... I mean, I could kind of see the, the motor moving. I mean, that's why I kind of looked at that, because I could kind of see the motor moving. So, all right, let's see here. Ah, one pass. All right, I think that's a huge improvement, actually. Um, to go from three to four passes to one to two passes. So, all right, cool. Pretty stoked about that, actually. All right, guys. Um, all right, it's a cool printer. Um, prints incredibly fast. It's high-quality print, so... Yeah, like I was saying earlier, is I've never actually had a bed that was this flat before. And this is actually, this is not even a good bed. This is like a thin aluminum bed with glass on it, you know? Um, but because it's, I mean, it's, I can get to 0.05. I, I can tell you, I could probably go to 0.01, but I just got to wait more passes. If I want really accurate, crazy accuracy, I can just, it's got to, all I do is wait and let it reduce more cycles. So, all right, cool.